Hey guys, thanks for joining us today with RV for Jesus and Thoughts from On the Road. I'm Nathan, and you have caught me out here fishing on the Rut Lake River. And uh, trying a little bit of fishing, see if we can catch anything up here above the dam uh, where the water's a little bit deeper and a little bit calmer on this windy day. Um, so, uh, fishing out here in the river reminds me of when Jesus was walking along the Sea of Galilee and he came across Simon Peter and his brother Andrew. And they were fishing too, because they were fishermen by trade. And he called out to them, calling them, he was asking them to come to be his disciples. And he says, come and follow me and I will make you fishers of men. And we as we wander are just exactly that, fishers of men. Now, while you're out fishing on a river like this or a creek or even in a pond, you use all kinds of bait. Right now I'm using, as you can see out there, a bobber. And I've got a worm on the end of that line. So I'm fishing with live bait. Another form of live bait would be minnows. But you can also use jigs or uh, lures like these. All kinds of different lures depending on the kind of fish you're using or fishing for. I've got some uh, rubber lures over on this side even a couple of imitation minnows and you can also fish fly fish I like to fly fish too uh, on a day like today you can't fly fish because of the wind but uh, fly fishing is fun and you can use flies for fishing and it all depends on what you're fishing for and what the weather is what the season is and also what they're hungry for and uh, we'll try to figure that out right now so as we're out fishing, as we wander with purpose, that purpose being fishing for men, telling others about Jesus Christ and the love he has shown to us by God sending his only begotten son to the earth to live a perfect life, to die as the penalty for our sins, and all we have to do is ask him and receive him as our savior, we tell others about God's great love and God's great gift and the bait that we're using or what we're using using is God's Word. And God, through the Spirit, speaks to people using His Word. His Word tells, says it will not return unto Him void. Now I can reel this line in, and even though I have bait on that hook, I may not get anything. But God's will, God's Word, accomplishes what He wants it to do. And what we have to do is be consistent, be out there and be fishing. And sometimes we have to use different approaches. Sometimes the approach may be live bait, like worms or minnows, or sometimes the approach may be um, rubber worms or uh, lures or jigs or something like that, depending on what the situation calls for. And so we as Christians have to be prepared, and that's why the Bible tells us to be prepared to give an answer uh, for the hope that lies within us, that we need to study His Word and be prepared to use different approaches with people in sharing God's Word. Sometimes you can share God's Word in a grocery store line while you're waiting for the cashier to ring you through or ring that next person through. Uh, you're waiting there for the hot. Uh, sometimes you can be out here fishing and share God's Word, like we are right now talking about making people fishers of men. And we can't not be, can't get disappointed when we're out here fishing because the Bible talks about, um, in talking about seed and planting, because that's sort of what we're doing is we're planting a seed in someone's mind, uh, planting the word of God in their heart, is that we plant the seed, someone else comes along in water, God brings someone else to come along in water, and 
then he brings someone else even further down the line to harvest because when you we're out here in a, a farming community and they plant a seed and they don't harvest it the same day they plant it they water it and three four months later they harvest it so that's how sometimes it works with God's word that we have to wait and we plant the seed and someone else comes along but we have to be out there and fishing planting showing that bait that love of God to other people so that they see and the way they see it is by our lives our lives and the Word of God showing through our lives is the bait that people see and I use the term bait loosely because I don't want to sound disrespectful to God's Word um, but it is what attracts people to the Christian life and the fact that they need that Christian life and they need Jesus Christ in their heart is that our lives shows forth that love. So the next time you're out fishing, think about that. Do us a favor, drop us a comment, tell us a couple places that you've been fishing, that you like to fish, what you like to use when you're fishing, and what's the biggest fish you ever caught. The biggest fish I ever caught was I was fishing with my grandfather. It was 17 and a half inch brown trout and it weighed about uh, six and a half, seven pounds. And that was a long time ago. That was up in New York State, up in the Adirondacks. Off around Saranac Lake. So we were out bear fishing. But uh, let us know. All right, and thanks for joining us today. There we go, there we go. I got a nibble, hang on. taking it. So we are taking a hike down to um, Devil's Cauldron. We're going to actually be able to stand inside of Devil's Cauldron. Now we have to do this sort of quickly because the tide is starting to come in. Low tide was at like 1230. So, and it's now 2 o'clock-ish. So we're going to come down here. And we'll show you some of the walk in along the seashore. And we're going to walk into Devil's Cauldron, take some pictures and uh, have a good time. One of our adventures for the day. Well, this is the path. Look. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's so pretty. We're gonna play out here on the rocks a little bit. First devil puzzle. Yes. Whoa. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> That's what we just came down.
climb. Watch that eel right there. Oh, my God, it's not a can. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> 